And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last Shivana deck tonight. It's Shivana Spotlight Night. Uh, gonna come now use Targon as our different regions. We're, we're pairing uh, Shivana with all four different, which is four different regions, trying to show some um, different powerful Shivana decks. And as you all know, I think Targon is definitely one of the best regions and it, it fits with the other dragons very well because there are some very good Targon dragons. We don't really have those other Targon dragons in our deck, but we do have um, a lot of Nexus healing and a lot of Celestials, a lot of Invoke. Um, I think this is just going to be a very strong deck against aggro because you'll have like your because we're going to have Radiant Guardian, very good against aggro. Then we'll have some Life Steal with the Fangs. We'll have the Fury Blockers, Shivana Screeching Dragon, and uh, then we'll have like Nexus Healing also with with Star Shaping. And we got early blockers, you know, Zoe makes early blockers, but the same with Spacey Sketcher, Egghead Researcher, Mountain Goat, um, you know, good combat tricks with Sharp Sight, Single Combat, and Hush. Hush, definitely one of the most powerful cards right now. So there's there's just a lot of good stuff in this deck. It's just kind of a, a good stuff deck, but it has a lot of good tools against all the aggressive decks, but then it also has the power in the late game thanks to the Celestials. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's go ahead and play Targon. With Zoe Shivana. So no Aurelian Soul. I'm somebody that I don't really have Aurelian Soul and um, Eclipse Dragon in my list, uh, mostly because the aggressive decks are really, really fast and really good, like Aurelia Azir and stuff like that. And it's difficult to have Aurelian Soul and um, you know and Eclipse Dragon for those matchups. I've that's what I've kind of found. So I'm not really playing any of those. Okay, our curve's just too high. I could keep Radiant Guardian, so this is going to be the... Um, so Piltovern's on, going to be Kyrian Sumpworker. So this is going to be like a Kyrian Sumpworker aggro deck. Um, I guess I'll just keep Radiant Guardian because against, you know, a burn deck, having Radiant Guardian, having that lifesteal tough, is going to be really valuable. Okay, so let's save our two spell mana with the single combat. Mm. So I was planning on playing Priestess, but actually I want to play the Charger instead. Dang, Moonsilver is... Moonsilver is tempting. But I want to try to play this Charger to block this rookie. I was gonna say if they if they did have single combat. Sorry, if they had Mystic Shot, then I was gonna be able to single combat. I guess that's what I meant to say. No attacks. Radiant Guardian may be very important. Cool. I wanted to attack before they played a Kyrian Sump Worker. Feels like we've taken a lot of damage, but we're only at 16. I can do this. It's not too bad. Fire and fury burn in me. It's not exactly legal, but it is exactly awesome. So that means. Each one of these is doing three, so we're taking seven. 
Going down to nine. And then, of course, playing Radiant Guardian afterwards. Yeah, so they're a Kyrian Sunworker burn deck. Lots of direct damage. They have Stalking Shadows for the Sunworker. Stalking Shadows also for Onlooker and uh, Doom Beast. So Boom Crew Rookie, Doom Beast, all that kind of stuff. Justice will be served! It's not necessarily GG's, it's, it's kind of like, like, can they sacrifice their own things? Like, I, I attack, they block, sacrifice, keep me from gaining life. Um, give me a weapon, I'll give it firepower. That thing's ephemeral. So they can like block Mystic Shot their own thing. Not gonna outgun me. Could certainly use some more fight spells. So I'm deciding to kill this Funsmith over the Boom Crew, because for the Boom Crew to do damage to me, they have to attack into Radiant Guardian. So while they did get to kill Radiant Guardian, we did eat up a good amount of resources. So that's not bad. I'm gonna open attack with my 3 2 life steal, get this fight spell immediately. But I didn't do anything. Of course, all those unto dust are supposed to be for Doom Beast. And should be good from here. What does he want from me? Can't imagine anything too bad happening. So that's what our deck's supposed to do. It's supposed to be able to defeat these aggressive decks. We got lots of lots of life steal and good defense, good defensive units. <laughs> Let's put that over in the win column. Uh, they may work like that, JJ. If I add it, you have to you have to send me like a link if you have it to like. To add, because I think I have to like add each individual BTTV emote. Um, there we go, Dark Star Shivana. I know I don't have pool party Zoe yet.
yet. Yep. I'll get that later tonight or tomorrow morning. Okay, so how we have our deck list, though, as I talked about, how it's very, you know, lots of lifesteal, good against aggro, that kind of stuff. I am not good in mirror matches, because mirror matches, they go much bigger. Like, Aurelian Soul goes much bigger than the thing that, things that I'm doing. And so this is uh, the worst matchup for us to see. I am um, definitely not good against other... And you can see, like, I'm playing uh, single combat and strafing strike and concerted strike. Having all of those... Uh, you know, that's that's a, a no to um, early aggressive decks that we want to keep on having fight spells for them. So I, I'd say we probably have about a 30% chance to win this kind of mirror match. It's not impossible, but we have to get very fortunate. So far, them not having like sharp sight to kill Zoe, that's definitely us getting fortunate. Fire and fury burn in me. I guess I could have just played Raiding Guardian. I was, I was kind of planning on, planning on playing this for challenging and stuff. Yeah, I guess I should have played the Raiding Guardian though. Okay, not looking good. Getting this to be five power to be able to help fight Shivana. Hmm. The more we learn, the less we fear. That card, cool. So that Shivana down. Dragon 
Apologies be gone. Oh dear. So they probably assume, like, since they only have two champions, they probably have early and soul coming up next round. Um, which will just... Really just end the game. Like, I... I am not gonna make any kind of... Yeah, I mean, this, this game is all but over. Not what our deck is good at defeating. Virtue guides me. It's a really in soul. Yep, that's really soul right there. Okay. So I'll admit it, I have a I have a big hole in the deck. Like I I'm just not very good against a really in soul. Um but you know, whenever you're playing Like I just don't think like my opponent's version right there. Obviously great against me. I just don't think that that's actually a, a very playable deck like with how good Aurelia Zier is and Thresh Nasus and just like all these aggressive decks. I just don't think you can just be playing like all those 7 and 10 mana dragons and expect to win, but you're great, you know, great in these kind of mirror matches. Okay. Much, much more comfortable with this matchup. Now, are we going to necessarily win? Maybe, maybe not. But I think this is more of the on the line of... Like, last game, I think we had like a 30% chance to win. I think this time we have like a 70% chance to win. Could go the other way. But I like our chances. Good card. So I could certainly see trading with Dancing Droplet, honestly, with Zoe. Zoe, what's your name? Going to go ahead and do that, because Dancing Droplet is, is like a way for them you know, to get a good amount of card advantage with different bounce spells and everything. So I know that's my champion, um, but they don't have lots of cards. Themselves are my barracks. Fire and fury burn in me. Spin around, throw it down. Oh, face me. Okay, so next attack is your levels up. Um, four, four. Yeah. Destiny calls. Watch me now. The order is given. Tell the people what you have seen today. Arise. I guess it makes more sense to block something over here. I smell fear. Down to seven. If I block Azir, mm. round five. No. I was gonna say that if I if I block Azir, then um. You know, make it a little easier, like with the Shivana, it'd make it a little easier for me to uh, fight and, or like to challenge Azir and kill it or anything like that. Break them. No, we're playing Zoe. Zoe Shivano. I want to play Radiant Guardian, but...
Your legend will never be forgotten. Just one card. That was a good attack. That was a very good attack. Not attacking with the voice of the risen. That was that was good. I. Um, if this puts me in negative six, yeah, I'm, I'm dead. Puts me in negative two. So yeah, like maybe if I would have, um, had to fight, yeah, I mean that was a good attack. Fight the Azir first, I guess, but then they get to attack with that thing. I don't. Yeah, like I said, just because I I like that matchup and I think that I think that there was a seventy percent chance I won that, <clears throat> they uh, closed it out in the other thirty percent. The Screeching Dragon turn, the round five, I needed to do something better than just play Screeching Dragon on round five. Like, basically, my, my round five and my round six weren't good enough. Basically, just playing Screeching Dragon. Concerted Strike, Screeching Dragon were too expensive, taking up my whole turn both times. Well, they played a whole lot more. You know, they, they played a one mana seven five, or one mana eight six, and then, you know, the four mana card that buffed up everything, and yeah, so like, that's what went wrong is those two rounds. Yeah, if I fight the voice of the risen, because those things will they'll change back to being just two twos. If I fight the voice of the risen, I, yes, I still die. Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah, you've been trying different dragons lists. Um, I, so I personally, because of how good, like you saw right there, really Azir is ridiculously good, and I just don't think that you can mess around with a really and soul. And so I, uh, myself, kind of recommend playing uh, this kind of version. Because I just don't think that a really and soul. I just think it's too expensive, honestly. Now, Aurelian Soul is great against other Targon decks, and yeah, like we lost. That was our other loss was to Aurelian Soul. Today's not been a good day. After our first deck, it's just what's the best card they could have? Ice Shard. All right, here, here it is. Today's been pretty brutal after that first deck. Would you look at this place? You got 
So taking the Crescent Strike to uh, have a tool to blow up some spell shields. Sivir Ruin Runner with those spell shields. Really want to be able to destroy those. Don't have it. They had it. Hey, Shivana. So I do have Hush if they have um, Battle Fury. But if they put it on the Ruin Runner, I guess I can't really do anything about that. the plus three plus one card be able to save ruin runner it is battle fury All right, down to two. To no one. <laughs> we 
We started off today strong at, with a 5-0, but after that, man, nothing. Nothing can go right. They still have more cards in hand than I do. Gotta find a gift for an action, right, Arda? Which is pretty scary. I have 12 mana, not enough to play all three of these. So I guess I need to... Man. This is not good. That ice shard right at the beginning fight. of the game, killing my Zoe and everything, that was huge. Great ice shard. Don't have a celestial card anymore, but still, maybe we find another one right here. Had to be like a spacey sketcher, I guess, which I've already used both my spacey sketchers, so that's not very likely. Um, that would be the most useful card. Anything to, to bust this up, the game's over. Yeah. These are just not enjoyable games. <laughs> We're just. This is a rough, 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 rough. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm being so negative. I'm sorry, y'all. We're going back and facing the, the, the one deck that we did beat. Built over and saw in Shadow Isles. We will start again with the Mountain Goat. Yeah, and we'll get Shivana. So as long as they don't have another Kyrian Sunbroker, immediately, um, I mean, I guess if they do, we'll have to sharp sight the Zoe 
Okay, so that's kind of telling us they don't, they weren't willing to block. I'm going to try to, Spacey Sketcher, find um, Equinox and Equinox it. Witness perfection, meatbags. Equinox on the Ballistic Bot may actually be better for me, though. I don't think it is. Pretty good control so far, but, you know, they have a bunch of sump workers. Yeah, I was playing with fire there with the sump worker. We are getting some luck. Take a look at this. Man, that's a good Warden Spray. Mage Seeker Conservator is awesome. Alright, save and spell mana. Okay, so hushing that one. Um, so that means that it'll just die um, during my round. Leading with the Traveler. Because the Fangs and the Mountain Goat, we're not going to attack, Greg, because like, this thing's ephemeral. I guess I could just... Uh, no. When the Cosmic Inspiration is the best card, I just don't know if we'll be able to play it or not. I did want to pass and try to hold up Screeching Dragon to be able to to kill that thing, but I thought that that was a little greedy. Alright, let's see. So you, you, you. All right, so that's the last iterative improvement. Like Sparky, like on on Twitch, am I a partner on Twitch? I I am. Um, I think that's what's called, right? Perfect. 
action. Hey, take it to the gun show. Um. Yes, Twitch partner, yeah, I am. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the congratulations. Okay, so yeah, so hushing this thing so it doesn't get to, to do the whole attack thing this round and do two damage to everything thanks to the Funsmith. Next round we'll have the Screeching Dragon. Um, obviously, I'm I'm completely regretting taking that Moon Silver now. How I how like it just kind of played out and I didn't need to Moon Silver the Screeching Dragon. I wish I would have had. Uh, I wish I would have taken. I could have had the Doggo, the two two Doggo draw a card. Right now, I much would have rather just drawn a card. It's a very surprising attack. Is this what you see? So if that is, if this card here is get excited, this block kills me, right? Because that's seven, eight, nine, ten. So I guess I probably can't make that block. So I don't die to get excited. Still, if it's get excited, I'm pretty close to deck because they just get excited the 3 2. Oh. Get excited does 4 damage. Right. So now I'm dead. No. Down to 2. Not dead, but they get to create that thing that does 1 damage. Well. Gotta hope that's not a burn spell. Okay, so I'm playing Screeching Dragon also. I guess it's Equinox. It's either Equinox or Charger. I can Charger. It's not exactly legal, but it is exactly awesome. Well. If I want to play Screeching Dragon this round. Which I do. Means I have to Equinox this thing first. I know I could I could attack for five. But then Alright. Kill you. Trade seven two and three two. Yeah. Because then if I trade those, then they they, they they have like the Unto Dusk card. I want to get Doombees out here because of Unto Dusk. With the lifesteal unit, that's a really good draw. 
<laughs> that was a heck of a Warden Spray, though. Those of y'all that are hating on Warden Spray. Warden Spray created Mage Seeker Conservator, which created Aurora Borealis. That's a lot of value for a one drop. And there we go, that will be game. Is it over till it's over? Cleaned up. Ended with a win. Okay, so not the best showing there for Zoe Shivana. Uh, we're, yeah, we played some really frustrating games there, and I'm sorry I was a little bit more negative than normal. Um, but, you know, yeah, we did have some pretty frustrating games there in the middle. Um, but, you know, it, it happens. It happens. Um, I think this deck's really good, though, and I recommend it if you are you know looking for, like, a, a dragon deck, you know, Shivana. Um, deck. I think this is a, a really good one. This is one that I've been playing quite a bit. This is one of my gauntlet decks that I've been playing, and I think it's, I think really highly of the deck, but we had some um, unfortunate things happen. You know, we did play against Aurelian Soul, and that's going to be like the thing, that's going to be where you're really, really going to struggle. Um, but that really Azir matchup, it's a frustrating one. That's one that I almost always win. That's what Originally, that's what this deck was. That's why I built this deck. I built this deck originally because of Aurelia Azir. You know, that's why there's so much life gain, so much life steal, and all these fight spells and and things like that. Because you know, wanted to just kill the champions and kill the small units and and stuff like that. Like that's what this deck is built to be. But even even if you build a deck to beat another, you're you're not going to beat it 100 percent of the time when it's a deck as good as Aurelia Azir. And so uh, we did end up losing that one. All right, but that's going to be it here for Zoe Shivana. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. I always appreciate those. But thank you so much for watching the Shivana Spotlight Night. And I'll see you for the next video.